Hello guys, if you want to create a SaaS with Laravel software as a service, probably the best choice as a starter kit is the official Laravel Spark. It will bring you the plans, subscriptions, payments, and all that you need. And if you're not familiar with Spark, specifically with the latest version that was released from what I remember a year ago or so, it's really great. And on my Laravel daily channel, I have a demo as a part of the Checklister course, a video where in 20 minutes I create a billing portal with Spark. But Spark is quite limited. If we scroll down, it's not free. You need to pay at least $99 or $199 for unlimited projects. So that's one downside. And then it's limited to only two payment methods, Stripe and Paddle. What if you work with some system outside of those two or you have local payment provider not really supported by those? Then Spark will not help you and you need to implement the payments and the subscriptions yourself. And I received an email from the creator of a package called Soul B Scription. Weird name. So the author Lucas asked me to review a package and I will do that in this video. And his motivation is exactly that. My app needs to accept local payment methods which Paddle and Stripe don't cover. So he can't use Laravel Cashier or Spark on top. So he created a package Laravel Soul B Scription only for subscriptions. So he separated the payments and the subscriptions and the feature usage. And that second part he released as a package. So this package will take care of subscriptions and features that are used by users and would assume that the payments would be handled elsewhere separately with whatever payment provider you want. So in this video I will show a demo of this package. I've created a small project with that. So how the project works. It's an admin panel where you can register and manage your tasks. So I will use fake filler Chrome extension. I register and I have task management table where I add tasks, something, something I save and on free plan or free trial, I can add up to three tasks. So I add another one, the third one, but then if I click the fourth task, I have an error message. You can create only three tasks on free trial and then you need to choose your plan. I've seeded two plans, silver and gold, and both can be monthly or annually. And I didn't implement any payments. So I just choose the plan, get silver, and then I get 10 tasks. And then you have the information about your current plan, silver monthly, active until such and such date and you can cancel the plan as well. So that comes from the package sold description. Everything else is kind of like additional visual layer on top of the package. And that layer, by the way, was generated mostly at least task management by our quick admin panel. So if you want to generate admin panel, this in particular was version of Livewire plus Tailwind, the newest one. So we have three generators, the old classic Laravel plus jQuery, the view with Laravel API and the latest one live wire with Tailwind. So this is exactly what you can see on the screen. The visual theme is Notus.js by Creative Tim. Now, how does that package work? Laravel soul description and what functions did I use in my demo? If we quickly run through the readme of the package after installation and migrations, you need to add a trait called has subscriptions to your user model. And then you can create the features. For example, in my case, the features in the database is the manage tasks. And then you can also specify 10 per month, for example, or unlimited plan that was for the gold plan. So you can create features that features may be consumable or not. So just the feature of yes and no, or you have some limit of, for example, 10 per month, as I mentioned, then you create plans. In my case, silver and gold, and also you can specify the period of month and year. So in my case, I've created monthly and yearly for both of them separately, and also a trial which is assigned for each new user on registration automatically. And then if we scroll down through the main features, associating plans with features, this is exactly what you need to attach, for example, tasks as a feature to a plan of silver and gold. And then subscribing to the plan is a function that needs two variables, subscriber user model and plan object. And that should happen after the successful payment. So what I didn't do in my project, because it's outside of this package scope, I didn't implement the payments. So that subscription should happen on the callback of successful payment via whatever payment provider you use. And then there are more features like unsubscribing, switching plans, renewing, canceling, 
starting the plan on another date and then consume the features. That's what happens when I, for example, add a new task. I basically consume the feature and then it calculates how many left. So check availability is here. Then there is also a feature called feature tickets. I don't fully understand that one. So you can read the documentation. What exactly is the ticket? I didn't use that in my demo. So this is the readme. Now let's take a look at my code. So first, the data seeders, as I've mentioned, in addition to roles, permissions, and users that come from Quick Admin Panel, Feature Seeder creates those two, consumable false in one case, and Plan Seeder is for those five plans and also attaching the features to those plans. Then in the task create form, I check for subscription plan. So it comes from auth user subscription plan name. This is in the mount method of Livewire component, but it could be Laravel controller in your case. And when submitting a new task, I try to consume that with one of those features and I catch the exception of overflow. And if there's an overflow happening, I'll redirect back with the status of message. You can create only such and such number of tasks. So basically on creating new records, you can check and try to consume the feature and the package would stop you from doing that and throw an exception. And then finally, this page, my plan, which is not a live wire component, it's a regular Laravel controller, which shows the blade with current user subscription. And then when you want to update the plan, all you do is auth user subscribe to plan, or if you want to cancel the plan, you just do auth user subscription cancel and redirect back. So for example, if I try to cancel the plan, click here, I'm redirected back. Nothing really changed, you would think. But if I go to the subscriptions table, I have canceled at filled in and expired at filled in as well. So basically the plan isn't actively canceled. It's still active until the end of the month, but with the dates set in your database. So that's about it. The package to manage the subscriptions without the payments, because the payments should be, as I said, happening separately elsewhere with your payment provider of choice. And I will publish this as a free repository on GitHub. If you have any suggestions to improve something there, I don't promise I will update that repository because it's just a demo project for you to showcase the package. But if you raise any issues or pull requests, we can discuss it on GitHub. And if you want more package reviews like this one or general Laravel tips and content, subscribe to the channel Laravel Daily and I will try to keep shooting daily videos for you guys. See you guys in other videos.